Hi, this is Brooke Cole. Welcome to the sixth week of your Girl Scout Leader Wellness Training. At this point, you have received training on the four wellness areas, including physical activity, healthy snacking, reducing sedentary time, and helping the girls build social connections. Hopefully you have found ways to incorporate wellness and healthy opportunities that work well for your troop. This will be an ongoing process. So let's make this halfway point a time to check in and see where progress has been made, as well as where there is still room for even more healthy opportunities for your girls. Think about your past few meetings and answer the following questions, just like you did during the first training video. Throughout the rest of the training videos, we will be revisiting these wellness areas, so don't worry if you feel like there are still some barriers to overcome in offering healthy opportunities for your girls. As you have probably recognized, adding in healthy components to the meeting can be easier if they are planned in advance. Leaders have told us that setting a schedule ahead of time works well for them, so we have created several meeting templates to help make this even easier. If you go to our website, www.scoutswellness.org, click the link for schedule building, it will take you to a page with several different meeting templates. You can choose the one that you think would work well for your troop. There are options for one hour meeting times, one hour 15 minutes, and one hour 30 minutes. These templates can be really helpful in seeing where the wellness components can be incorporated into your meeting. While we are taking a look at the website, I wanted to show you a couple of other things that you might find useful. You may know that there are several badges and journeys that have a health component to them. So these can be great ones to work on since they have a healthy snacking or physical activity focus. We have reviewed them for you and made a list of the ones that focus on wellness. So give some of these a try. As you know, it may be easiest to provide healthy opportunities when your activities can serve two purposes, such as working toward a badge or journey project and simultaneously adding some wellness into the meeting. Take some time to explore the website and hopefully you will get some ideas and inspiration for your upcoming meetings. When we were first starting up our leader training series, we visited troops across the area and talked to the girls about what they would like to try in their meetings. They came up with some great ideas. Here were some of the most popular answers. Fruit and vegetable taste testing sessions, recipe contests, dancing, and going on group walks. If you haven't already, maybe take a few minutes with your girls during the next meeting and get their ideas about physical activities that they would like to try, as well as healthy snacking ideas, ways to limit sitting time, and fun activities to build social connections. Remember that the journey to a healthy lifestyle can happen in a series of small steps. Although you don't see your girls every day or even every week, the opportunities that you provide them can help them reach their physical activity and healthy eating goals. And you are doing a great job of providing them with a positive experience. Keep up the great work.